All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast channel, guys. We have a fun one for you. This is called First Design Epic Details, the Tri-State Tri-Stash. That's right, Tri-State EDC. Cole over there designed his first knife, uh, and he's doing it in collaboration with the folks over at Blade Binge. And, uh, of course, there had to be a mustache on there. Um, and this is the tri stash. Now, my understanding is, let's just look at this thing. Detail wise, this is absolutely epic looking. Um, uh, my understanding is, first of all, this is a prototype, so it will be a uh, more of an overview than a review. Um, and my understanding is, this is like either the second or third prototypes that there were others, and Cole wanted to make some changes and different things like that to get to where he wanted this to be. So uh, very, very cool uh, that he's put in that kind of work on his first design to get it to where he wanted. Now, this is OEM to buy Best Tech. And again, the pre-order has already happened on this beautiful guy. Um, but there will be a few of these left. And my understanding is there will also be a budget version of this in the works, which is Really stinking cool that he's jumping in with both feet like that. Now, um, not sure when these will be available, if the, the few that will be available. Um, but it said five to eight months on the pre-order. So uh, we're like a month, month and a half past that at this point. So it's going to be a little bit, but just buckle up. Uh, more to come. So uh, let's jump in. We have uh, completely flat scales um with this really crazy uh kind of dot matrix milling pattern uh our screws are way down in the bottom sort of out of the way we do have a three-quarter length um backspacer with a slot for the blade as you can see uh he really wanted to maximize that blade length uh so you have a slot all the way through there now there is uh, the screws do go through that. So I think that's kind of interesting to me. We've milled that out, but it does look like uh, there's some clearance on the screws. Boy, it's really hard to get you down in there. There's a lot of milling um, on uh, both sides. Uh, yeah, for weight reduction. Very, very cool. Now we do have chamfers all the way around. Again, there is no contouring. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. But there are chamfers all the way around. You have a very large um, uh, frame lock uh, lock uh, recess here. And you do have a frame lock with a lock bar insert. Now, what's interesting is you can, there's no pass through. You do have a chamfer. So you can actuate this very easily. I mean, look how easily they made this so, whoops, they made this so deep this recess that that lock bar moves i mean with ease um and so what you've got here is you've got a button actuated this is not a uh typical plunge lock this is a button actuated frame lock all of the golden design works um caliber kind of like that uh and others that have done it but uh very very cool and Again, you can see there we're moving that button, which then moves uh, the frame lock out of the way. Or you can just actuate it like a frame lock if you want to. Uh, up to you. But we do have a hole um, uh, for deployment. And we do have a front flipper with a lot of jimping. Um, and we are dead centered. You would have to be with that uh, with that groove down there. I mean, you have to be centered or you're going to have some issues. We do have uh, a... Very nice um, titanium pocket clip. Now, uh, guys, I'm, I'm, you know, this is a design thing. Uh, I know so many designers want everything to be clean. So there's no lanyard uh, position for those of you that love that. But again, um, you know, I don't even know how many people use lanyards these days. I know some do. I'm looking at you guys and you know who you are. Um, uh, but there's, there's also no way to reverse the pocket clip. That one... Uh, to me, and again, we're all different. We all design things our own way. But uh, to me, just having a little filler plate is not a big deal or some way to, to reverse it. I just, I really, I think at this point, we ought to be making options for lefties. But uh, I get it. Premium knife, $300 knife, and people really want 
uh, a clean knife, and I get it. I understand. So we do have that uh, captive pivot with a mustache on it there. There's your button. Your button is recessed uh, down in there. There's your stop pin. Very nice. And lock face as well. Okay. So we're going to start by using uh, the front flipper. Now, to me, the front flipper is pretty dang good. And you can see here, drop-wise, it's on bearings. It just falls uh, like nobody's business. Um, front flipper is pretty good. It's still a bit awkward for me, uh, but that's because it's me. And because every once in a while, I put a little bit of pressure on that lock bar. So stay off the lock bar and you're good to go. Now, uh, there's your hole. It's, it's okay to get a thumb flick on and a middle finger flick. Now, let me talk about my nitpick number one uh, with this knife, okay? Uh, by the way, the pocket clip, good in and out of the pocket, good retention, good clearance, no issues there. Um, just a little tight on the detent. Now, this is a prototype, so I have no idea how these are going to be. I just wish it was a little softer. I have to kind of get all the way out to the end of the hole. Um, and again, if there were a little more clearance to the hole, it might not be a big deal because you could get down in there a little bit more. Um, but um, it is a stout detent, which means I absolutely love the way it cracks out there. But after a few times of doing it, it really starts to get to my fingernail. Now I'm going to hear, you're a wimp, you're a weenie, whatever. That's okay. I'm just telling you, it is a very stout detent, which means you're going to love the deployment. The deployment is incredible. It just snaps out there, but it should be pointed out, in my opinion. Now, you do have this worn cliff blade, which is the favorite of Tri-State. You have a deep, hollow grind here. And, guys, look at that. You have a finger toil. Very, very nice. So, we have a four-finger grip back here, okay? Okay. Uh, with some nice jimping up here, and then we have a finger choil, and again, your jimping comes out here quite a bit, so you still get quite a bit of room uh, in that. Now, let's see how we do with cutting. Uh, again, um, yeah, I mean, it's a hollow ground. Uh, by the way, this is S90V on the steel. Fantastic. Very well done. Great slicer. Good geometry, because it uh, again, it's it's not super thin stock, but what happens is we come down with this really nice hollow, uh, very sticky feeling blade. You do have that utility tip uh, getting down there with the pinch grip, which we all know Tri-State loves. Um, very, very cool. So let's go back to the Ergos for a moment for my second and only, uh, by the way, detail-wise, looks-wise, cutting-wise, Everything was. This is a fantastic looking and just a gorgeous, gorgeous first design. Well done. So please don't take my nitpicks as taken away from this. It's just, you know, that's how I do reviews openly and honestly. So um, the detent, again, just a little, just tiny bit lighter. Again, I, I know he's not going to do that because folks love those strong detents and that's probably where he needs to be, but I'm just giving my opinion. The second is because it's a taller handle. And again, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be in the specs when we go through them. No, it's only right at an inch. So it's not really tall um, at all. But because we're square with just chamfers, it does feel just a little bit chunky or square in the hand. I I'm always for just the slightest little bit of contouring, but uh, sometimes what happens is people really want these knives to be super thin, which this is. This is probably, we'll see if they've got it listed. It's probably going to be like 0 0.46, 0 0.47 uh, thickness wise, which is great, but it does feel just a bit square in the hand to me. And again, I get it. Not the end of the world, but if you if for just EDC, but if you're going to be using this for work, just something to bear in mind that it would be better if it was just slightly contoured. Uh, that's it. Other than that, action wise, this is incredible. I absolutely love the fact that we have a detent and a button lock. We have a button lock with a detent, which to me is the way it should forever be now. There should never be plunge locks again. Uh, I just, I love uh, the top liner locks, the top 
frame locks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I absolutely am in love with these. Uh, actually, I will be honest and say that I actually, wow, and I've screwed it up twice there, but I actually prefer the front, the, uh, front flipper on this knife. I, I have mostly been deploying it with the front flipper. I'm still not the greatest at front flipping, but it is what it is. So let's see how we are uh, comparison-wise. Here is our friend, the Ontario Rat 2, which is going to be smaller, and our friend, the Ontario Rat 1, which is going to be quite larger. Uh, very, very cool. So let's go over the specs. Again, these are not currently available. They were selling for $2.99. Uh, that's a pre-order price, so who knows? They may be more expensive down the road, but be looking for that budget model as well. 3.5-inch uh, blade with a 3-inch cutting edge, 7.75 inches overall, great size. I really do like that I have four-finger grip back here, four-finger grip choked up, uh, jimping here, jimping. I mean, it's, it's a great knife. Uh, again, please... Uh, understand that and um, HRC is 62 on the S90V it is in titanium and it doesn't give me weight so we're gonna we're gonna weigh this puppy real quick because I'm curious and of course not prepared for that sorry uh, so we will see what kind of weight I'm gonna say four ounces yep look at that 4.09 uh, which is fine for me, this size knife. Uh, that is absolutely great. And again, look at that belt satin, guys. The belt satin uh, is the look for this. And this beautiful swedge and this gorgeous flats here. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife overall. Uh, loving it. So thanks, Cole, uh, for sending this one along. I appreciate you, my friend. Uh, very, very much glad to get the chance to take a look at it. So we'll be getting this back uh, to Cole or on to the next channel here very shortly so they can check it out. But I am very grateful to get uh, to take a look at it. So guys, let me know what you think down below and hit that thumbs up uh, for sure. And like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.